Hi, I'm Rebecca Elliott with the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, here to tell you about a few works that will be on display in the exhibition Once Upon a Time, Telling Stories Through Clay, which will travel to eight Harris County libraries from September 14, 2009 to March 28, 2011. And I'm standing in front of two works by the American artist Ann Krauss. This is the Friends Cup and Saucer from 1985. And this is the Fossil Shells Bowl from 1986. The Friends Cop and Saucer depicts a man walking with a monkey and uh, on, the, on the cup uh, the man and the monkey are on the inside of the cup as well as on the outside. And it just has the inscription Friend right here. So it suggests some sort of a story, but we don't know exactly what that story is. We can just imagine it for ourselves. This other piece, the uh, fossil shells bowl, shows two people in a rocky landscape. And it says, we looked for perfect fossil shells along an ancient seashore. And they're examining the fossil shells. And the decoration also relates to that. There are scallop shells here, and this all kind of looks like bones, kind of has a fossil-y kind of look to it. And on the reverse, it also has an inscription that says, dedicated to Sev of France and the Bighorn Basin, Wyoming. Sev is the royal porcelain manufactory that was uh, established by the French king um, well before the French Revolution and has, has been around for hundreds of years and creates high quality, very decorative porcelains. And then of course, um, the uh, Bighorn Basin in Wyoming is probably a place where you can find fossils. This uh, large ceramic head is a piece called The Dice Head by Anthony Bennett, and it's from 2004. Anthony Bennett is a British artist who's very interested in symbolic imagery on his pieces. This piece has what is intended as camouflage that looks like a game board with a, a grid and dice and some violent imager, images like a skull and a gun and a uh, symbol for money, and, and also on the back of this piece is a colorful image of, of a monkey, um, which has a caption that says, monkey on my back, monkey in my brain, can't shake him off, can't avoid his game. So it also relates to that idea of um, animal instincts and their effects on people. This work is by Philip Mayberry, an American artist who is actually a Texas native. He was born in Texas and studied at uh, the uh, East Texas University and moved to New York. It's called the Love Shack. It's actually spring from the seasons of the Love Shack, which is a series of commemorative plates that commemorate his house. Living in the house, Mayberry found that it had structural problems that, that had to do with the way it was built back in the 1960s when it wasn't built using the usual construction techniques. And it um, was having a problem, so in 1993, he decided to make a, a series of plates to commemorate the house and raise money to build a new house, which he then built on the property. So this has a really interesting story behind it, but it also is a beautiful scene that, when you look at it, you can just imagine the house and imagine your own ideas of what you might do if you lived in the house, and just imagine your own story about it.